to the percentage. Hello folks, here we go, Cheeky Scouts is back. We're at an outdoor range, there's a 30 yard marker. And them two shooting seas there, I'm going to put a target up. And the pellets we're going to be testing today is the JSB Hades 177, 10.34 grain, if you, can, if you can see that on the tin. Let's have a look. Well, well, you can see it on the tin, I'll have lost it. Here's the target I'm going to be shooting at. I'm going to use that for zero. Five pence piece, but see these targets? Here you go. They are the size of a five pence piece. So I'm going to be shooting 30 yards. Then I'm going to push it out to 35, which that is there. And then I'm going to push them out to 40. Uh, so we're going to see what the ADs are like. I believe the two twos are very good, but no idea what the 177s are like. So bear with me. I'll set my target up on the 30 yards and I'll start shooting shortly. So where are we? First shot is top left corner. 30 yards. JSB ADs. I'll take a shot here, the centre shooting C just to check the zero. So shooting slightly to the right, I'm yeah, just going to adjust it a bit. That's the zero done. One of you's going to start doing that jig. And I've checked my zero. Here we go. Top left corner, thirty yards. I think that's okay grouping that. So next test is going to be 35 yards. Right, so I've moved my target to the 35 yard range. Somewhere. There we go. So I'm now going to shoot when this camera settles. Come on. I'm going to shoot the top centre. See what the grouping's like on that, but I'll shoot a few pellets at the shooting seat. Check the zero because they are 10.34 grain. See what the drop is. Very small drop, not much. I've done one click on my scope. There's a golf ball swinging behind it, that's not me. That's a couple of lads at the range shooting it. If you see it moving. So top centre. Yeah, good grouping off three of them. One slightly on the edge of the five piece circle and one way out to the left. Yeah, the wind keeps changing. A little wind sock. Which is there, keeps moving. See? Yeah, so we're getting a slight breeze across the range. But I'll move the target out now to 40 yards and see how we get on. So here we go, we're at the 40 yard mark now, it's behind that tree there, you know, bush, just won't work it out, bit of wind, where's my target, there it is, so 
bolt. Get on that. Ugh. So, a couple of shots at the shooting seat. Check my range. I've put uh, two clicks on my scope. So, here we go. Top right hand corner. By the way, it's uh, five shots um, each group. tiny bit of swirly wind but well, I've got me up and down on the scope so here we go top right corner JSB 80s outside in the wind Ooh, I think there's three Pretty much tight like the last shot, like the last five. So I won't bring that back. I'll uh, try a different rifle now and check the Hades in a different rifle. So at the minute, let's take this camera off the stand. So that's what I'm using at the minute. Steyr 5SA of Hunting. We're hunting pellets, apparently. The, uh, where's my hands? JSB Hazy's, if you can see that. So I'm going to try a day state pulsar next. So I'll leave the target at 40 yards and bring it into 35 and then 30. We'll say it's all about the Hazy's, really, not so much about the rifle. So let's uh, set the other rifle up. So here we go, part two. Day State Pulsar 177 and the JSB 80s 177 and the target I've left it at 40 yards all the way down there so uh, providing I can count up to five I'll put five shots bottom left hand target uh, 40 yards test these JSB 80s out now slightly bit of a swirl and wind um, let's have a look see the piece of tape there just every now and then the trees are moving as you can see anyway so give or take the winds let's see how good they are right here we go so we're uh, bottom left target just where I am at the minute as the most my camera will zoom in so five shots with the JSB 80s here we go Just a slight wobble on the gun, but I think there's a, as usual, three three good group and then two a bit skew if. So bring the target in from 40 to 35 yards. So here we go, we're at the uh, 35 yard range now. Um, so this is going to be the bottom centre target. Um, I'll do a couple of sighters first and uh, see how we get on from there. So a couple of sighters there, let's see where we're set up first.
So there's a slight breeze, so bottom centre target, 35 yards, JSB 80s. Way over to the left. Yeah. Well, I don't think that's the wind. And it's two dive to the bottom left. Plus I'll knock me camera off. So I'll redo that. I'll use the target bottom right hand side. So I'll redo that bottom right hand target. I uh, knock me camera out. And two pellets have gone miles down the bottom of the car. So let's see bottom right hand at 35 yards and see what see what it's like again. Well, them five shots are better than the others and they're on camera. Uh, I don't think the grouping's too bad to be honest. Um, but I'm going to have to stick up a little shoot and see at the bottom of the card for the next 30 yard one. So let's set it up to 30 yards and put a shoot and see up uh, in the middle of the card. Right, here we go folks, I'm at the 30 yard range. Whoop. 30 yards and I'm going to have to shoot the shoot and see, the bottom centre. Say so the, the two holes you can already see, or three holes. The wind blew them before, so let's aim at the shoot and see and see how we get on. Right, so the scope's about to set in. I use the edge of the card. So here we go. The shooting C JSB 80s at 30 yards. So shot them a bit rapid, uh, good grouping, they should all be like that to be honest, but the wind's a bit swirly, but I think I've picked a good patch out in the wind, so um, I'll go down shortly and get the car and bring it back to the bench. Right, here we go. <laughs> Let's go and get the target back from the 30 yards range. Shooting from all the way, all the way back there. There's only 30 yards. I might look a bit further. So bring it back to the bench and see how we've done. So here we go. The found the light pump. Stay at 30 yards with the JSB Hades. Say the size of a 5P. Well covered. Five shots. There's roughly four shots there and a one there. Next one. Two groups of two and a wild one, but 5p.
covers them. That's the target I'm aiming at. Say so one's just drifted out, but the five P covers it anyway. Yeah. Then the next one at 40 yards, a bit windy. The five P covers four shots. I think that's the winds blew one off there, but not bad grouping. Couple in the middle. So there you go, 40 yards. So that's the Steyr doing a JSP Hades. Next one is the Pulsar. So we'll do this in a bit of a skew if order. I had the wind blowing this group off uh, when I was trying to do the 35 yards, but started off at 40 because it ended up 40, saved me moving the target. So the 5P. Like the 5P covers four shots. If I move it over to try and cover the fifth, just outside the circle, really. So I can cut the cover four or cover four. So not bad group, and there is a bit of a swirly wind. Um, I tried to shoot five pence shot there, but the wind got hold of it uh, really strong. So I went up to the 35 yards. So I've got four under a 5P. Not quite in the centre, but still covered by the 5P regardless. Um, the winds blew one off. Can't quite cover them with a 5P, but covered the four of them. So I still think the JSB 80s are okay. And then the last shot was at 30 yards in the middle. Even with the yellow shooting C uh, standing out, the 5P covers it. So yeah, there's 177 JSB Hades. Um, the wind will move them around, but I don't think they're bad pellets at all. I believe the 2-2 are really good. I haven't got a 2-2 to try them. But I'm guessing if any of these were indoors, the grouping would be as good as that all day long. So there you go. Uh, cheeky Scouts are saying goodbye, and uh, I'm looking forward to get back in my indoor range. I was invited to this outdoor shoot. Um, it's actually not a bad range at all. The back bit is 49 yards. Um, the wind at the back is a bit worse than the wind at the front. You can see the trees moving a bit at the back. So it's pointless trying to shoot at 49 yards because the grouping is just going to be dreadful. So hope you've watched it. Um, hope I can get a bit more interest and I'm hoping soon to get the rabbits on and the rats on the channel. So I'll be glad when that's on there. So thanks for watching. See you soon. Goodbye. Eight five twenty eight.